Hello designers, my name is Karthik from Design School for WordPress Beginners, the place where I teach how to design, build and customize your websites. In this video, I want to show you how you can add sticky social share buttons to your WordPress website similar to this one from Backlinko. I've already taught how to do this using built-in features in Elementor Pro and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. So consider this method 2. Using Elementor Pro's pop-up builder, you can do it quite easily and I'll show you how. Click on templates and click on pop-ups and click on add new. You can also click on add new from here and pick pop-ups from the drop-down. Even that will work. So you can pick pop-up from here. It's the same thing. Just give it a name. I'll name it social share buttons. And I'll click on create template. Elementor gives me the series of templates to pick from. And if you accidentally close it, you can also click on this folder icon and it brings back the pop-ups templates. So the pop-up that I want to use or the template that I want to use for this tutorial is this one because it already has the social share buttons built into the design. So we'll just use this and customize it a bit. I'll click on insert. It will also import all the properties such as positioning of the buttons and all that stuff. As you can see here, I just want to change the position of this from the right to the left, similar to what we've seen with the Backlinko website. And it sticks exactly on the left of my browser window. I don't want that. I want it maybe around this area, maybe after a few pixels away from the leftmost portion of my browser window. To do that, I'll just click on the settings cog. I'll go to advanced. And in margin, I'll give a positive value, maybe a 40 pixels. And you can see how my button is moved 40 pixels away onto the right. And if you want to position it anywhere else, you can also give top, right, or bottom values based on your preference. Let's also add an entrance animation. So let's click on the settings cog again. Maybe you can pick another entrance animation. So maybe something that you like. I think this looks better. So I'll just pick. So you can also increase the duration so that the animation is more subtle and it's more noticeable to the user. And if you don't like the rounded corners of this pop-up, just click on settings again, go to style and change the border radius to whatever value you want. So if it's zero, it's totally square, similar to what you saw on Backlinko's website. As you change the border radius, you can see how it's affecting the edges of that particular pop-up. So I think this looks better. So we'll settle with this one. I'm happy with it. If you want a box shadow, then fine. Else you can remove the box shadow from here. So you can also tweak a few other values. So you can leave everything else as is. So once you're done tweaking the settings and style of this pop-up, you need to go to advanced. And as you want this as a part of our design, we don't want it to close by clicking on overlay. We also don't want the user to close by clicking on escape key. We don't want disable scroll because if you do that, the user won't be able to scroll the page and that will be really messed up. And also we don't want this. Let's say if you have another pop-up appearing, that will prevent this pop-up from appearing on that particular page. We don't want that either. Additionally, if you want the cursor to change on hover, you can add a simple CSS. Just type selector, open parenthesis and close the bracket and then type cursor and copy. So that will change the cursor to this, the way you see it here on the screen. If you think that's not needed, you can remove the code. So once you're done with everything, you can click on publish and it'll ask you the conditions and you want the share buttons to appear only on the posts and pages. You don't want them to appear on the 404 page or anything else because of course you don't want your users to share your 404 page, right? So just click on singular and can click on posts. So you want all posts. And if you want this pop-up to appear on all the pages, you can also do that. Just include another condition. You can simply click on add condition and select singular from here and select all pages. So once you're done setting all the conditions, you can click on next 
and the triggers we just want it to load when the page loads so you can simply toggle this on and leave it as is so this will automatically be loaded when the page loads so i think that will be more than enough because it's a part of the design or maybe you can add a delay maybe of two seconds so once the page loads after two seconds this will slide in from the left and the user will see the pop-up and on advanced tools you don't want to set anything else because it's a part of the design just click on save and close and that's it your pop-up is ready so once you publish the pop-up you want to preview and see how it looks on the website and you can of course preview it on specific pages just click on settings cog again and click on preview settings and select the page so let's select post from here let's search for a post I think this post I just want to apply and preview and don't worry if it doesn't load here you can click on preview button so it will open the preview in a new page and you can see how our pop-up slides in from the left so you can simply scroll it and as you know the pop-up is interfering with the post content so you can either move the post design or add a padding or even move the pop-up so let's go ahead and do that I'll just add a 10 pixels margin here I'll update it here and when I update it here it will also be updated in the preview automatically and I think now it appears properly and it looks great you may want to consider adding some padding to the pop-up and speaking of this post in this I showed you how to design your posts similar to iMessage bubble so I highly recommend you go check that out it's really cool so that's how you add social share buttons using Elementor Pro pop-up. I'll talk to you in the next video. If you like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you know the drill. And that's it for now and hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you need anything else, don't hesitate to ask. I'm ready to help you. Catch you in the next video. Peace.